Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting propaganda cast from your host, Imperial Dane. We're off here to one versus one. On the Simwaski, we shall be watching Cataclysm, fighting here for the Soviet Union and the Third Tank Corps, facing off here against Gentle Fox, most gentle of foxes. Conscripts have arrived. Fighting for Germany. Moving out here for the 125th Infantry Division. Task with holding this vital village. But can the infantry division hold it? And the name of the Reich. Troops are moving up, we know several conscripts. We're also making an immediate choice of advanced warfare for Cataclaw. Bit of a bit of while since we've seen that one in action. As for Gentle Fox, we're seeing mechanized assault, Jaeger infantry, and spearhead. So a bit of a series of combinations they have commanders available to him. We'll of course have to see which one he goes for. We're back to El Cataclaw. Making a straight move for that few point. Looks like Gentle Fox might be aiming from that one as well. Kind of is heading westwards and of course already immediately Cataclaw will be seeing a radio interception information on his opponent's movements. Engineers have secured the sector. The country score on the way there. Lovely. We have more conscripts at our disposal. So far, so quiet. And there you go, a few bombs being secured. Did something demolished? Objective secured. Decent spread. Got nothing particular, and they're going to default to for Gentle Fox. Port Nair being secured. Port Nair as well. We have it. And there you go, quickly rushing into that to sort of make things awkward Supply for the pioneers, but quickly rushing out to sort of resecure that few point, while at we the same time sort of trying to do something there. Of course, going for that colour point will deny anything from here, but at the same time, the few point will still be connected via this point. So sadly, won't have much an effect in that direction. The Catacol will end up with a small field advantage here in the early game compared to his opponent. And is they're firing away. Conscripts held up there, though they won't be able to do much from that way since basically they only have that one window to shoot back from. MP42 moving up. Troops sneaking down there, and another gun is got there riding for Gentle Fox. Conscripts here. Fourth country squad up there. Fifth country squad on the way, looks like Cataclysm will be going pretty heavily in there. Enemy forces capturing supply sector. Area secure. My engagement left and right. Then it is versus Please conscripts, and the conscripts closing in slowly but surely. Another crunch squad around there to get the drop on the gun. This place will have to fall back. They are outnumbered here and outgunned. There we go, fifth unit arriving there for Cataclaw. The hard part will be Waiting. we have a fresh grenadier squad. Named fire on this position! Contact with enemy infantry. Additional grenadiers arriving. Engineer squad. Push here. No intention. Another grenadier squad ready to put a stop to that. Pioneers left behind a bit on their own, and that's a bit more dangerous for Gentle Fox. The map is currently a bit of a mess, then, fact, for Gentle Fox. Map control not really looking good. Cataclysm basically rushing in more and more infantry. That getting a sixth squad there. It's definitely going to make things a bit more awkward. Area secure. Red Army at your service. Units rapidly falling back there. Grenadiers, pioneers with minefields. He's definitely not taking any chances there with Cataclaw. Assuming the worst, Grenadier could also stand to move on forward. To support their lighter in the centre. Man engagement up here, guns not doing so well. Paddy's might win and actually turn the tight there with the submachine guns. But can they? There we go. 
Moving up close, and there we go. Slowly turning things in favour of Deutschland. Quickly moving down to several conscripts before moving on. And we know he had Molotovs right, and we know he Molotovs here. So six conscripts and Molotovs for Cataclor. Pretty infantry heavy start there. Pouring everything he can into a rather overwhelming assault. With the Granata and the other team moving up to support things as well. Hutch is making a big rush for here. Agenda Fox forces are definitely going to find a few of the spread out to get all ways to get the sheer numbers that Caracol will be arraying against him. But in this case, he'll be able to sort of hold things a bit back. Granata and the other joining in there. Contact with the enemy! The enemy is encroaching on our territory. Then he's going to encounter some conscripts. Not quite happy to see them. They go swift retreat. Going out and effort shooting positions. Got fuel point for a bit. Caraclaw having to reinforce quite a few troops. They're also knowing a few infirmary upgrade up there. Point to cure there. That, Tovarish. Bunker going up, Medic, medic Bunker. What are your orders? Beyond that all up bit quiet at the moment. Caracol reforming, rebuilding. No mind was interesting enough and looks like that was a light machine gun up there for Gentle Foxes already Combat take up. And it's thus adding some heavier weaponry to this would definitely help a bit versus Caracol's troops. That should definitely help. Two less ones, veterans are hit, of course, and it gains the actually bonus. That thing's going to be rather handy. We are losing territory. A bit risky with the MD42 in the church and nothing to sort of support it. Could easily allow Caracol to rush up infantry to pop off a Molotov. He should maybe consider actually setting up some bar wide different angles to make it a lot harder to approach. Fuel being disconnected here by some conscripts. Caraclaw definitely using his large numbers to basically peek around and find every little gap in the lines of Gentle Fox to break through. And again, before you can that's in a bit of trouble. Both ends of the church being molotovved. Well, the Granatum effort tries its best hits by support. Might soon find itself in trouble once more. Counter-attack initiated hold here by Gentle Fox though. Spirit it and attempt it. Now they come out and they have a cool falls back. And there we go, veteran John for the Grenadiers. Transport all round up at the same time, low on health. They could be easy targets here for the Grenadiers. There we go, there we go. Already heavy losses inflicted there. Quite a few kills there for the Grenadiers. Still, map control is looking pretty tenuous. Anti tank units now prepared for character as well. Again, a lot of infantry, a lot of weapons, and also not a lot of fuel for Gentle Fox. Again, just the way he's constantly playing around there, constantly cutting off points. What do you have for us? Mortar the already back. Oh, nice mortar of them. They're going to need quickly bursting one to flames from the rest across the ice. Gentle Fox still needs to strike back soon. This kind of territorial loss is not good. We also know there's no taking up so far well from Cataclaw. Likely he might be in just seeing off a T3045. He's going for a heavy conscript, in fact. A seventh squad there. We will Enemy forces are attempting to capture our territory. A bit of a unique strategy for the that Soviets, provides. but it can work. We need something built. Soldiers ready. In particular, since the options for the Germans at the moment to limit such kind of play is a bit limited. Well, options for dealing with it is a bit limited. Blah. Time goes to there. Anyways, constantly got positions there. More towards more getting rushed. Going to fighting from a distance. More getting off a nice hit there. Making some pro progress up here through the center. Lots of mines going down here for Cataclaw in the village center. Minesweepers would be very much appreciated there. A quick mold with their forces, these guys to be rapidly pulled back. I like to make nice company up. We are ready to build it or blow it. Mine engagement here as Gentle Fox tries to break through. 
Oh, we're to the end of Fox Effect Report. Gonna miss probably one MG, one more, and now a scout cut on the way. Yes? He's got plenty of manpower, so he could consider some other things. Kantika's waiting down there, using the terrain here to hide them so they can be to keep running back and forth and harass Gentle Fox and his troops. Attempt here running around corners, but there we go at the same time using the terrain to get close there to the MD, Molotoving it straight off there. More mortar fire. And now noting Panzer Grenadier on the way here for Gentle Fox. Panzer is there firing away. And Scout Car joining us, there we go. Force retreat. Another Molotov there ending in tears for Gentle Fox's Soldaten. Our forces increase. Yes. Four man Panzer Grenadier unit there. Fifty Sturmgewehrs. Grenadiers! Ready! Reforming and reinforcing. Pack on the way, of course. He's not seeing anything that indicates any kind of checks. Of course, he might be worried about an armor rush from his opponent, particularly considering the way the fuel has been held for some time now. I mean, he's almost got 300 fuel, and certainly with that kind of thing, he would have to easily have rushed for the T70 by now. So imagine that massive uh, I think just all up else and machine guns are now available here for yes. Cataclaus troops. A bit of assault here. Molotov's going off left and right, submachine guns going up, big guns here with the lap machine guns swapping it as you will have charge versus that kind of firepower up close. And before setting up here, money engaging down here again, going for that cut off point. Hands are apparently not moving out into the field yet. And the scout car here in dire straight as he just being hit by an anti tank going from any possible angle. Pack also ready, but none of it is moved forwards. None of it is being moved forwards. Grenadiers reporting. The second night machine gun up here for Gentle Fox. And there you go, Panzer is finally on the move. Yes. Mach schnell. Now the mortar then packing with the side of the church. This is now German territory. Grenadiers ready. Enemy has gained in the foothold. We are down to 300 points. There we go, conscripts rushed off the field. Was is los? Ready! And the new squad there moving in on the hut for the conscripts. They're shooting at us! Quickly dropping Yuri down there, and there we go. Conscript popped off. Hands are grenadiers! Pioneers pushed away. More and more into the again. Territory. And the Panthers are going it on a lonely mission in the north. We are ready for action. MG42 setting up. Cartridge moving in. Likely going to get off the Molotov rather rapidly there. Enemy Got the Molotov firing as well, but. Then it's all we do. Scout Cut joining in. So now if he's not upgraded here, one would imagine he'd do that, but it seems like he's not doing that. And a second pack here. Gentle Fox quite worried again, he's seen nothing from any kind of otherwise six. He's quite worried about any kind of armored assault that's an additional pack. Though he probably doesn't know that Caraclaw, by the looks of it, is aiming for the T-45 BAM as well. Which of course he can then sort of get more influence maybe trying to push off Caraclaw from here, but that of course is another story. He certainly can't take up right now since he barely get anything out of the, what little fuel he has. Since again, Caraclaw is basically dominating the fuel points. Of course, could of course set up a fuel cash, but at the same time things are looking a bit tricky in several departments. There you go, Cartoon County from Pixel Heat under the air resistance. And I quickly rushed off. Never thought I'd miss Africa. Noting by the way the center still largely heavily mined. The mines was not been sending there to sort that out. And there you go, large crash of sort push away the gunners down south. The lap signal is not enough to turn around that much, many Russians. There you go, Panthers versus Conscripts. Trying to get to that quick mortar off as well. And all of a sudden, they can't really do much. You have orders? Scout Cast with respect to you for these harassers. 
I really need to get back some fuel out in match. Suggest the active switch here while trying to get in that one is holding the points over here rather than playing for that one. Which is a bit more awkward in terms of sort of how he otherwise plays the map. And that's also the route that actually needs to be secured. I mean he's barely got anything here whereas here there's a lot more troops to be a lot easier for him to sort of defend that approach. Also learning an early munitions can here for Calico right next to his base. Well not early, but can he find them more country rushing in? We might get a country that he might be able to get it. Vengeance for Altus are done, lost, and there we go. Panzer's here holding up there, so the conscripts for some reason not doing that awful lot of damage, although they're actually getting a kill here. And sending them rushing away. Altus going off, some machine guns, light machine guns, all shooting. Now they got coming the first one, almost all gun is by where we have now been created with light machine guns, certainly. Adding more to their firepower. And before two singing up here, oh, Contra's done my good to get close here. Inside the church, he could shift over to intend now of using rounds. Nope, actually, it sets up again. Mortal, mm, they're close to getting those pants, but not quite. In fact, my ability to get those Contra on. No, no. Nope. That gets another kill. Still, they've been in the fight for some time and they only managed three kills. That's a bit surprising. But they go finally gain the fuel, so it took him some time before he got that back. And again, we know that Cataclaus got tons of it. Taking small arms to fire. Absolute tons. Ready. Hands are grenadiers. Grenadiers reporting. No sign of taking up so far from Gentle Fox. Heads down! Most gentle of foxes. Grenadiers! Not sure why the gun is rushing closer there to the conscript for the submachine guns. A bit suicidal to be honest. Nine kills by the way and close to victory too, and thus an accuracy increase. Ooh, Contra rushing straight to the gun is here, the machine guns and victory too. The contract taking up 10 kind of damage and again the mortal force them to mark giving their submachine gun. Actual assaults in a treat right there and veteran GP for the gun it is. Increasing accuracy further and making that line machine guns further lethal. <coughs> Gentle Fox holding on most gently. There you go, Kanska charging us. Kanska going to do see a swift retreat here from Gentle Fox, realizing he can't win that one without losing a Panzer gun, which he realizes would be a bit of a waste. Small engagement up here. And then using a spot of trouble. A mine went off there. Heavy loss for one gun in the squad. Now the squad pushed away there. The conscripts got a bit too close. The grenades went themselves in deep snow, leaving them with little room to maneuver. MP42, they're covering the center, and we're noting a telemine going up, realizing again something big and something bad is coming. He's quick to lay down some telemines. Got but the scout car hit a mine here, losing him a valuable scout can for some reason. Gentle Fox never thought of sweeping the center. Still telemine, named because well, I suppose they look like plates, which is what telemines plate. Another scout car on the way to replace the one lost to Soviet mining antics. Rushing in. Whoa! Looks like the mortar got that one. Or something else. Either way, those comm engineers are dead. <coughs> there is a fighting noting, by the way. No commander choice, despite how long it's passed here for Gentle Fox. <coughs> Veterans in note here, can't really quick close to down here. Veterans with the is firing another machine gun, but no. A bit too slow there on the trigger, allowing them to get away. And there we go, Caraclaus finally reached 9 command points, and T3045s are beginning to stream in. He's been saving up resources for this. And the tankers are unleashed upon the fascist pigs. They need to go away. T3045 bringing up the tier coming down, we're seeing retreat. Pioneers could be in a bit of trouble there as well. Enemy Panzer has spotted us! Who's watching our asses? Watch the flanks! Ready! 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 And engine damage there on the scout car. We've got the T-35 moving in. We've also got several packs at the same time to make it allow them to close in. 
Mortar in trouble, but ultimately yes, saved. We have it. That's Going to check down there for Conscript's hiding. Keep it probably not there. Firing away, Pack 40 is not quite able to hit. Need to be careful these gunners around the T-35 noting all four squads now by the way have lap machine guns. And over to Caracor again. Alter time for the mid-game analysis. Current situation is Gentle Fox is definitely at the trouble holding on to the map. He's got a nice sort of conjunction of or mix of units. But it is lap machine gun mortar, packs, and even some panzer guns. The panzer so far are having a bit of limited success in actually dealing any serious damage, despite having assault rifles so far actually lagging behind, I think, pretty much. Every Grenadier squad, in particular the Grenadiers of Black Machine Guns, they really pretty much outperform the Panzer Grenadiers, and certainly one might wonder if the Panzer Grenadiers might not be too nerfed at the moment. Either way, they're still here, but at the same time, map control is a bit poor, and again, I can't help but feel this maybe due to the fact he's been holding up towards this fuel point, which again, considering the way the map is laid out, is not really easily defended, because then you have to defend pretty much all to these two points, and he's not doing that. Again, I rather feel like he should have been aiming for these points here, holding up that, which would have secured, given more secure resources. But it seems like he's more intent on holding up the village centre, although if he was doing that, he should have considered maybe a bunker, to sort of allow him to sort of fight from there without having to constantly fly back forth here, having to reinforce and then move back, so on, so on. Instead of command bunker in the centre, would have allowed him to hold on much better there, and actually push back Calico, I think, a bit more solidly, and also then further push out much more easily, though. Of course, it's just a thought here from me. Cataclysm got some infantry, he's getting more and more T-45, although at the same time we're noting he's actually beginning to lose some of those conscript squads. We are knowing here that Gentle Fox, as soon as guys finally begin hanging some veterans in those machine guns, definitely become their worth weight worth in gold and really can begin punishing Cataclysm's infantry. But now Cataclysm has the tanks, I imagine that's part of it to realise, you know, as long as you can get the tanks, you might have a chance. Though at least Gentle Fox is somewhat prepared here with Pack 40s. Of course, at the same time, the question is what we aim for next. He could probably aim for a Tiger, and I imagine that might be his idea because, again, taking up can end up spending a lot of that fuel towards something. Well, nothing, essentially, and that's also getting him less armor. Whereas he gets a Tiger tank, at least he gets something a bit more tough for all that fuel to expend it. Something can also solidly punish the, in punish the infantry, but also the tanks. And of course, that's a bit sort of the unfortunate way with the taking out rather works. In particular, since the Soviet taking was actually less penalised afterwards. But for the Germans, you still have to expend a lot more resources than to tank up. And of course, that also means a lot of fuel basically vanishes into thin air. And of course, tanks might suddenly look less impressive, and particularly under a lot of pressure. Though again, had it slightly changed sort of how he helped the map. At this stage, he might be able to at least have a pair of Stukas and Panzer IVs. Though, that's merely guesses on my part. He might want to consider a few more mines, in particular, if he's going to keep playing at this, he should consider some S mines around these points, or a machine gun bunker somewhere to sort of make things a bit more tricky. But again, I would suggest moving up here and then having the packs sort of here, that would certainly also make it a bit harder for the tanks to move out on him, because a bit of a problem with holding up anti tank guns in the villages, of course, the buildings will end up blocking a lot of the line of sight. Of course, it will also so need to to an extent, they have to come in somewhere, but at the same time, if they handle this correctly, he cannot maneuver those tanks, so it's a bit tricky there for Gentle Fox, and of course a fault for Caraclaw might be, you know, getting some other stuff than just conscripts and tanks, aiming for something else, because at the same time, if Gentle Fox ends up handling this correctly, holding on and getting the right units, maybe a Tiger tank, then all of a sudden Caraclaw could easily run out of steam very quickly and be utterly ground down with very little to do. So it's a bit of a dangerous situation for him, in particular if more Telemines arrive, because he would be extremely vulnerable to those. So that is also vital to keep in mind. But let's return to the fight. T-35 is falling gloriously for the Soviet Union. Socialism. There you go, Pack 40 firing. Not really a good hit there. But there you go, second hit connect also. Better one by the gun is no need to fall back. So quick phone, scout cut counting got the team to the Pack 40 crew. It's a bit exposed. Schnellheinz covers the pack! That's a vice we all doomed. Need to survive by said tanks. And there you go, T Fed from Wing up, but getting stuck there. Hit the telemine pack four. You just need to start and just keep firing. Shoot times. Might be able to get it there. Can't be charging gun continue to hold out. And there you go, T 34 85 abandoned. If you can actually clear out all the Russians here, you might be able to get there to it. More to take out a nice toll there on the Russians, getting into the two as well. There's a fighting a bit of a desperate last stand by the edge of the village. Pack 40 so have been cleared out and the other two for to move in and pretty much put away the infantry with little harm. 
Villiers are doing what they can here, hiding up behind the hill. And there we go. Beginning to sort out the packs. Actually, Mortal there against the Grenadiers. And making a rush there for the G35 like going to try and recruit in short. The Germans can't get it. That could actually be a bit awkward there for Karakloy. He ended up accidentally handing a tank there to the fascists. But sadly, that was not an option there. Open for Gentle Fox. And now his pack is getting flanked here before two trying to do the cannons. Sport Mort as well. But quickly the pack group dies. A horrible bullet filled death. And we're just seeing more. A little bit of conscripts repairing while they're sort of wondering why didn't we get to drive the tank? I'm a much better driver than Yuri. Anyways, both packs are wrecked. That's definitely also going to be a bit of a heavy loss there for Gentle Fox that leaves him very vulnerable to the enemy arm. And again, he's clearly now aimed for the Tiger tank. Sort of maybe that way turn around things for him. Panzer is here, by the way, still with only three kills. They're definitely having limited luck here against the Soviets. And now everybody's working on that tank. A rifle grenade here could actually be very, very lethal. Could he be firing off one? I mean, right here, that would be jackpot. But no, looks like Gentle Fox did not react to that. Otherwise, I mean, again, rifle grenade. Oh, oh the lovely. And he's here finding some Russians opening up here from the small wall. Tiger to and there you go, Tiger Tank has been dispatched to prop up the Infanterie Division. No panzers could otherwise be spared. Or Sturmgeschütz. 30 35 for the arriving, going to strike against the Gunnelis, fighting for the victory. Ponsley home sort of by himself more time. Things are never not looking at the part not in terms of damage. We're noting here. Well, again, Cataclysm has actually been suffering a bit more heavily, but at the same time, still doing reasonably well in damage. And he's also dominant, and that means also got the victory points to sort of pop it up. Can't you rushing through the deep snow into the light machine gun there, and that's actually giving the gun into an advantage tactically. Tiger moving forward here with the TT in the gun. T-34 falling back. He could get those conscripts. Ah, no. They made it just in time. Then they just need to fall back before the T-35 whips up. Mark. No! Nine! What are you thinking, Gentle Fox? That's not very gentle. There you go, wiped up. And a light machine gun there, available for Catacol Secure. T-34 can't hit the other Panzer Park, but at the same time, making damage on the Tiger Tank. Need more Pioneers. Rauchen mir Pionieren. And they need to fall back. Tiger trying to act as a deterrent to the T-45, moving forward, despite with the damaging he needs to find himself out maneuvered or sworn by the T-45, so that at the same time Catacol does have to spread out, so the first set is guaranteed that won't happen right away. Looks like he could end up losing another gun, he's got right here as rather swiftly. Do see a pack actually arriving here, so maybe prop things up down there. But can those gun here survive? And a single Pioneer squad left to repair the Tiger tank. Which was certainly not known for being easy to maintain. The repair crews, of course, would do their best to always get back in a fight as quickly as possible, and certainly they could do that. Medic bunker down, Catacol pulls back. But two Gunner Squads lost, two veteran, even elite Gunner Squads lost. With two machine guns also lost, although there's a chance of recovering one, though of course Christian is aware of it. And apparently Caracol isn't aware either, there's actually a lap machine gun he could secure, which I'd imagine he'd be quite happy to get. It looks like he can soon call in a fourth T-3045. Tiger pulling back into the village. 
Pat joining in as well. Yes, comrade. Looks like an assault is about to take place. 40, 30, 40, 40 arrives here for Cataclaw and the tank tour. They're going to count up against the 30, 30, 30, and the tiger. But barrels being hit instead for the second shot. Tiger's all new kills, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, Raptors holding out here at the edge of the cemetery, and apparently the cemetery wall proves to be just what they need to not get horribly murdered. Keep it for moves in there, fetching two by the way. Target weak point could be fired. Target weak point, no, nope, apparently not. Slight missed opportunity, I think, there by Gentle Fox. Keep it for falling back, Tiger opening up. Conscripts almost wiped out. This Chief of the Fox almost ready for combat again. So the other one pulls back here, close to victory too, and that's actually a high rate of fire. More fire panthers fighting here. Closing our issue. Oh, finally got a fourth kill, even a fifth. We are targets. A small victory for the Panzer Grenadiers. Need to pull back there. At 40 firing, Tiger firing. Oh, shot at the wrong tank, allowing this one otherwise heavily damaged to get out of there. Trying to catch that T-34 up there, but sadly the pack could dodge it. And to tank the first pinch at the rear there of the Tiger tank, it can happen. Tiger makes a clean getaway there. But several of these T-34s are now in desperate need of repairs. He's not got a lot of infantry to actually do it, he's only got no common use to do it, so rather than actually a bit of brute engagement there for Cataclaw. In fact, he might be out for some time then, jumping get his tanks back to the fight. Tiger hit, getting wrecked into one. A 50 fed point by rhyming here. Now that's a lot of tanks. And that was a fence until the mortar round hit it. That machine gun, by the way, not secured. We are as ready as we can Tiger be. blitzing away, ultimately damage, and there we go. Five T-34-5s up, several damaged. Another pack arriving here for Gentle Fox. I think Gentle Fox should consider getting additional pioneers to help repair things. Of course, that's merely a thought from me. Taylor Mines could also be an idea. And securing that light machine gun if he stumbles upon it as well. And we can see here that character setting up for one hell of an armored assault. 5 to 35 will be certainly something to behold and deal with. Quite in the meanwhile, points been secured. And MG42 arriving. Did you lose the other one now? But apparently, feeling a bit worried about infantry, despite the fact that Calaclaw now has uh, not a lot of his infantry left, having actually suffered quite a few losses there in the name of the Soviet peoples and Karmnet Stalin. Karmnet Stalin forgives losses as long as there's victory. If not, on the other hand, you might have to have a particular discussion with the NKVD. And there you go, Panzer's right next to the MG. They could grab that and actually improve the firepower, I think, at least on longer ranges. Could not be a bad idea. There you go, additional pioneers arriving. Good, good. Good. Interesting enough, he's not bothered with securing a munitions point, actually. And apparently, he's ignoring the light machine gun as well. That's sad. T 34 is almost ready. Just one tank needing last repairs. Victory points almost all falling into the hands there of the Reich of the Infanterie TV show. Pack 40 here evading. Also, fun fact about the Pack 40. Its gun shield was a bit unique. It was that, in fact, two thinner layers of metal stamped together instead of what usually was a much thicker steel plate for a lot of other anti tank guns, which was also heavy, which also allowed the Pack 40, despite being so big, also being reasonably lighter and thus more maneuverable actually by infantry. So, a little fun fact there about the Pack 40. 
Banker setting up here, like the machine gun bank sort of help things. Although, command bunker could also be a fun idea. Noting, by the way, veterans, if you on this pack 40, that could definitely prove lethal. And there we go. The might of the Soviet armor forces is on the move. Yes, comrade. Tiger almost repaired. If he could listen, he would actually be able to probably heal all of this and then probably set up the pack to sort of guard this and the Tiger turning as well. Right now, as it is, he might actually suffer several hits there to the rear of the Tiger. Though he's got a pack 40 here. And there we go. Ooh, got the tell there. There we go. Ooh, rah, he ought to be hearing something's going on in the north. It's not like Catacost being awfully silent about. And there goes so therefore strikes. Tell our mine hit. Tell our mine. Chaser. And there we go. T-35 went down already. The assault's already going off there a bit heavily, but there we go. Tiger tank taking the damage from the T-35 firing the 85 in the gun. Pack 40's firing this one that can't shoot because there's falling position to gun against this part. And there you go, Vetch is one T-35, have damaged Tiger, but sadly the T-35 did not take a lot of damage. Pack 40 moving into trying to support, going front here, Tiger weak point, he's saying does not have the mutants for it either. Now though, he's finally getting a bit more damage there, he could end up losing another T-35 here. Rear armor hit, rear armor hit for the Tiger, went down the T-35, so are still there. Main gun wrecked, still somehow making it out of there, both Pack 40's now Vetch is defeat. One more T-35 though, knocked out, out of control. And you'll see another one called in. We have lost one, of our armored vehicles. one hell of an armored engagement here on the outskirts. Sadly though, he wasn't quite fully realizing what was going on, so it was a bit too late there. Still, that was quite a bit of damage there, also inflicted upon Cataclorm. That's about three T-3045s down. T-34 ready. Ready for orders. Oh, well, actually two. The counting seems a bit off there. T-34. Yes, comrade. One veteran to one very close to veteran yes, two. Ready for orders. They should still be able to do a lot of damage. One being pulled back here. More telemines would be good here for Gentle Fox. Looks like you also finally got around to picking up the LMG. Now this guy has got two of them. Zwei Maschinengewehren. Panzer is won't really much of help in that fight. He could actually consider giving them a panzer and then pulling into the church, in which case he'd be able to form much more all-round anti-tank position, which would actually make things a lot harder for the T-3045s. Still holding on to all victory points. Kaleclaw here might be focusing a bit too much here, but then again he feels like he can break through here and crush the spat bone of... Gentle the Fox is Shreya punked here in the village, he could overcome it. But at the same time he's about to make one mistake, which he's going to make another attack in the already expected direction. Now, of course in this case it looks like he's trying to confirm it, although I think it might have been slightly more expensive. He probably could have just popped into the shit to guard in the line of sight, to be honest. Still, he's going to be attacking from the same direction. Yeah, that's a bit of a mistake, I mean... Usually you have to care about repeating tactics like that. Of course, if you do it the second time around, your opponent will usually be a lot better prepared. And as you might be noticing, he's pulling in now two veteran T3 pack forces, which means they'll have a high penetration, high rate of fire, which means they'll all be able to tear through those tanks rather rapidly. There we go. Using the to spot for oh, time for to get to Fox, my apologies. There you go, one tank always sent back, and there we go. In fact, he's forcing Calicot to have to attack. And note the veteran three pack 40s do have a much higher rate of fire now. Pack 40s are getting out maneuvered. He could call in another Tiger tank right now. A second Tiger. But again, the way he's placed them closely actually again allows the T-34 to usually outmaneuver them. He's not careful. Panzer is getting some Panzer Shrek's here. Raket in Panzer Buxer. And it's apparently mowed down the entire console there due to the veterans of the M2 lap machine guns after the killers. Tiger there arriving, T-35 taking an RC8 there. And looks like another safe going in. Panzer's there fighting. Clouds are getting those T-35s, I think they should get into the building, but no way. There's you here, one T-35 down. Only one remaining more infantry following up here, M-2 desperately holding on, but also like he's finding far too cheap as well. And there we go, T-35 is down, Panzer is falling back, Tiger covering the advanced retreat. Pack 40 there being quickly recruited, and he needs to move in, schnell, schnell! How can we help? That's 
to Chell. Not sound about doing nothing. Oh well. But there you go, both pack forward recruit forcing the Tiger to pull out of range. Well, he's gone spear, but San has used much of it. But again, getting the amount of resources down is really limited what he could do with the commander. He'll probably be able to do more with Jaeger lines to be some regard, but at the same time, he'll be able to get the Tiger. Banker down there, wiped out by the packs, and there we go, rushing for the victory points. Cataclaw is in a dire strait, but still feels like he can secure victory for the motherland. And there you go, Pack 40's back into the Grenadiers without machine guns. A volley of lead unleashed. Yo, dead. Toad. Kaput. And now it's pretty much game over here for Karakor. Can't just got wiped out. And in the end, Gender Fox was able to secure victory. Yeah. Although they end up with the Panthers having much more limited role instead of the kind of use of the machine guns doing most of the work. Standing by. And there we go, game over, a victory for Germany, although rather close at times, again the way that Cataclaw was largely dominating the field so to make things a lot harder, but at the same time, maybe in fact he was only aimed for T-35s, in fact bought Gender Fox a sufficient time to actually sort of bring up some more proper defences and other things. Had he simply rushed for T-70s, I think things would have looked a lot different, maybe a lot less good for Gender Fox, but again the T-35s came to have to bring up Pax and also gave more time to himself get a Tiger tank out. The situation there was a bit different. At the same time, I think Gentle Fox should not aim for those, but instead over here, and instead aim for a bit more of a coherent defense that way. Instead, the village rather made it also a lot harder for him to sort of defend overall. Plus, the points here were extremely vulnerable, yet nothing was really done to defend those either. So, those were a few problems there for Gentle Fox, which definitely gave Cataclaw quite the edge for the match. But again, to keep warm. the insistence on aiming only for T-35s rather again gave Gentle Fox a bit of a breathing space that also allowed him to sort of in the end, I think, come back. Also, that last armored assault here was a bit of a mistake. He should have just further back and he should attack from another angle rather than instead of aiming directly for down here or simply rolled over the sum of those tanks are just taking those victory points. I mean, Gentle Fox would not been able to hold all of them, but again, instead he simply aimed for a downright assault here towards a strong point, and well, that failed. In some cases, you have to be a bit more careful about what you do in the end. Gender Fox, so secure victory. So, there you go. I hope you enjoyed this match. I hope you learned something from it. If you did, why not subscribe? Tell your friends. Share it with everyone. If not, you know, send in a replay on. Provide some feedback in the comments section. Also, feel free to follow me on Facebook or Twitter. Links are in the description. This is Imperial Dane, though. Sing cheers and wishing you all a good day.